Well, good morning. Here we are reporting live from the cluster F of a drop off this morning at daycare. Oh, y'all. The, okay, no, you go, girl, because you got to go to like real work, like your job, job. Anyway, <laughs> I have not said anything for so long. I feel like it's been a long time. Um, I hit a really rough patch and I, I did. Okay, but I was already, ha I was already halfway out. Can I go though? Cause I was like, I waited on three people. That was my karmic debt for this morning. Paid in full. I don't know why I am. Um, I'm on this like news anchor, like TV show. Welcome back to the Mayan show. Here we are um, this morning just dropped off the five-year-old at daycare and headed back home to finish my coffee. I did not bring it this morning. Really looking to empty that cup, you know? I don't know. Um, I got on TikTok. I think I told you in one of the last uh, 500,000 videos that I've made. <gasps> oh, girl! In her BMW! <laughs> yes! And she has do she's doing the Mayan dream. Uh, okay, I have to tell you this. So one of my bucket list items is to rent. Here we go. Hold on to your ass. Um, is to rent a convertible and drive. Oh, hello, and drive up PCH in California. Um, not particularly because I love the politics of California, uh, but because the scenery is just absolutely breathtaking. So my idea is to go like somewhere down like San Diego-ish up to um, Santa Barbara, San Diego to Santa Barbara. Yes, in a, in a um, convertible. And I want to get this, like, I want to get these, and I like obviously stopping, you know, along the way a little bit for like a little bite here, a little photo moment there. But my goal is to get these scarves and these big sunglasses a la the 1950s and like tie like a scarf around my head <laughs> so cute and she had a scarf i might she might have been um muslim but anyway it's the, the same thing it's a head scarf honey it's a head wrap is what i'm saying rewinding all the way back to the first of this video i had hit a really rough patch and i had nothing really positive to say you'll see at some point i'm going to compile this um video together about my own closet rehab and subsequently my own uh, journey of treating myself as a client which is revolutionary can i say the least can i say the least no to say the least or i can say which is mesh those together i drank a cold brew this morning that cold brew hits different, okay? <laughs> like the kids say. <clears throat> um, so anyway, I realized that I had not properly cleaned out my closet. Like that will clap in there, fingertip clap. Properly cleaned out my closet in going on six years. was incredibly emotional like it was so much more than what I suspected it would be like I knew it was gonna be hard you know because I have so much of Marchand's clothes but I didn't realize how incredibly I just it was it was it was painful I mean I'm just not even gonna lie it's painful so now I'm looking at my clients and these closet rehabs in a completely new way adding more to the like the intake form the, the style roadmap and I'm almost thinking it's like I think I'm gonna even call it something different like not a style roadmap like a I don't know like transformation roadmap ching because it is it's a complete transformation when you clean out that closet and now I also understand the pain of cleaning out the closet and not following up with a closet shop to put outfits together with what is left because your girl is on the struggle bus honey every day and some days I ride the struggle bus to the hot mess express because we just you know and just transfer there because there's I mean like 
I can see like potential for outfits, but it's just, I haven't sat down and properly done it. Y'all, I need a lookbook, girl. I need a lookbook. Um, I need a shop. I need, I need a lot of things. She is just not afraid to die today out here on England Parkway and these people are driving 60 miles an hour. I'm driving 45 and it's like, oh, that is not, oh, sorry, dude. I don't, obviously don't have my glasses on, but you have on light colors, which is actually smart because this sun ain't no joke. Anyway, he's just not, he was just not afraid to get hit by a car today. Um, cause the lady in the other lane in the, in the right lane, she did not slow down. Uh, uh she didn't even let off her accelerator. <clears throat> I mean, she just did not care. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I, I, I really, it's making me look at my business in a completely different way. Y'all, if you are in a service-based, if you're a service-based business, highly, no, not a singer, that was more jam. Highly recommend treating yourself as a client. And I mean down to, I created a test client that's myself in Dubsado, which is a CRM that I use. Um, I've scheduled an appointment, sent myself a schedule a reminder, like the whole nine. So I am getting my own client experience and it's like, I see so many holes in how I can make it better. Revolutionary. And, um, it's been to say the very least, it's been completely, extremely eye opening. I hit a really, really low, really low patch. Um, in life after that uh, because I just I was not prepared but I journaled throughout the whole thing which is something I'm gonna have my clients do during this closet rehab process and um, yeah I'm gonna make it like a truly it's truly a transformational um, and so yeah I just I was I was really bummed out and a lot of other things are kind of going sideways you know it's I mean, I, I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm just saying, you know, when they say like, oh, when it rains, it pours. It's been kind of like that, to be 100% honest with you. The beauty, though, is that the position that I'm in, I am forced to face it and I'm forced to work through it instead of what I used to do in like years past is just either throw money at the problem or run away gracefully you know because I always try to do things cute and stylish but yeah I would I would get away from it so I wouldn't have to deal with it but now where I am I it's forced me to deal with it and wow like the healing that has come from this monumental um so even when you are hitting or hitting even when you are in deep 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 shitty trenches it's so hard because I'm still kind of like, I'm not out of the trench yet. I'm like, I'm like halfway up the muddy. I'm past like the super slick mud to where there's like holes in the sides where I can kind of like put my fingertips in and like toes in and like lift up. Um, cause I'm not, I'm not quite out of the woods yet, but the beauty of it is that if you can find the silver lining, if you can get a glimpse of the silver lining, if you can try to see how this is going to benefit you, how this pain and how this suffering, how this strife is going to benefit you, if you can even imagine one iota how this is going to be good for you later on down the line or how it's good for you right now, then I think that's all you need. That's the only key that you need to just start turning the lock to changing the tide, if that makes sense. I speak in metaphor a lot, because I kind of see it that way. Um, yeah, so I hope that that helps you, especially if you're like in the deep, shitty, muddy trench, and you're like just grasping for a way to get out. Um, this is a huge year of change, of evolution, of ending of relationships, it's going to be a really dark year for some people. It's going to be a really eye-opening, humbling year for other people. Um, and for some people, it's going to just be smooth sailing. So wherever you fall in that, still, even if it's smooth sailing, find the lesson. Find yourself in deep, deep gratitude. If everything, if you are in flow, keep in the flow by being in like a superb gratitude. 
like super, super gratitude. That's all I have for today, y'all. She needs a nap, and um, I don't think I'm gonna finish my coffee because I feel pretty, pretty jacked as it is. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday, and I will holler at y'all later. Bye.